Okay, so now that we've recorded the, uh, you will have not recorded, but you will have inputted all the notes in for your A section and for your B section. These are the notes of the triads according to what you put down in your chord grid. That's all of this and then all of this. Remembering, of course, that your A section and B section cannot be the same. They've got to be different, so you've got to use different structures in each section. Once you've done all of that, obviously now you're missing a bass line through here. So you'll, you, your part will probably have all of these triads for all of these, for this keyboard part up here. We need to put in a bass part. So what it says, it says that your bass part will be just the tonics or the root note of each chord uh, and it'll just be in crotchets. So this line just here, the bass part will just be the tonic of, the, of each chord and it will be in crotchets. So the tonic note, of course, is the bottom note of each chord. You will have named those notes in your chord grid. You will have named uh, chord one we knew was C, E, G, and the first note is the tonic note. So down here, if we're just gonna do it in crotchets, we just simply need to select a crotchet. So select the bass guitar part, select crotchets, and then just simply type C, 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 C. That's, a, that's my bass line. Over here, we need to then put the tonic note of this chord. We need to put it in this bar. So go on and record that all the way through here for each triad. Uh, another, on another note, once you've done the bass line, if you wished earlier on in your chord progression to put uh, a chord that was, let's say down here in your B section, you chose to put two chords per bar. So let's say you wanted to put chord one in here and then chord four in the same bar. Obviously, if we're going to put two chords per bar, it's very likely that each one of those chords will be worth two beats each. So if I'm gonna import a chord into this bar that's worth two beats, I'm gonna choose a half note, which is a minimum. So click half note, then I'm gonna type, let's say I wanna start on chord one for my chorus. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start on chord four for my chorus. So I'm gonna put that, and then I'm gonna get back to it, and I'm gonna put a note above it, which, if I choose that note, and should be able to put uh, above it. And then I need to put the, the next chord, let's say I want chord four and then chord one. There we go, chord four and one. Now, of course, I need to be able to put a bass line that reflects those two chords. So I need to, again, just like the instructions say, we need to be able to put the bass part, which is the tonic note of each chord, this is chord four and this is chord one. So in crotchets, select the bar that I want to use, click crotchet, and then simply put the tonic note of each of those chords. All right, once you've done all of that for each of your, your A section and your B section, come back and watch the next video and we'll show you how to finalize your score and just finesse everything so it looks really, really good.